Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Israel Automation Channel. Today in this session, I'm going to discuss about Extent Report version 5 with a real-time scenario where I'm going to open an application and do some conditions and I also validate the condition is working or not. And we'll do all with respect to Extent Report logging and where we will create an Extent Report based out of the results that are being published. So do watch this entire session and let's get started. Let me open my Eclipse IDE. And here, if you see in the left section, I have a project which is a demo extent report. In the first session where I have created intro session for the version 5. So if you are new to this session, do watch the intro session where I have given a sample example with uh, generic messages. So let me open that file as well. So if you go to the source test Java and in the package of demo extent, I have created a new test here. So this is a generic message that I have created without any test conditions here. I have used all the test methods here. And let me go over to this project and quickly show you what the project is about. So if you see, this is a Maven test ng project. I have created in the Maven structure and if you go inside a pom.xml. So I have extent report dependency and also I have a test ng dependency and selenium java dependency and web driver api manager dependency. So these are all the things I have and I will share this dependencies in the description box or a comment section you can find from there. And let me open the extent report uh, website as well. If you go to any browser and type for extent reports. And this is a website which is offering the extent reports. So this website provides you information about the extent reports. Currently it is showing as a dashboard for KLOV report. And this is the extent report library. And this is uh, how the report looks like. And there are some useful information in the dashboard page. And if you go to the top and go to the document section, you will find the versions here. So I'm going to discuss about version 5 with Java approach. And after this, you can see here getting started and usage and markup systems and a complete example. You can refer this page and you can go through all these things and now in the report section you can see i am going to explain about the spark report so i will select the spark report and this is a spark report how we need to configure the spark report and this is a snippet that they have provided we'll use this snippet and there are some configuration details that we will use in this session so let me go back to the eclipse ide and under source test java under demo extent package i'm going to create a new class which is I will say search test case and let me finish it now after this so in the website they have provided a snippet right so let me go to the website back again I will copy the first two lines I will explain what these two lines does and I will paste it here so if you see here it's an extent report which is creating an object. So using that reference, we will implement some functions with respect to the extent report. So we need to go to mouse over it and you need to import this. So as I'm discussing about the extent spark report, so I'm going to create a reference for spark report and let me import this spark report. And this spark report accepts the location of our html report which is a target spark.html so this is the location in this project if you see in the project i have a target location and there is no files inside in that target so this is the two things that needed for to create a references and object for the extent report and spark reporter and after that we need to create a driver reference here web driver reference so web driver driver and after that, now I'm going to start a real time use cases where we need a before test, after test and a test methods. So let me quickly create three of them. All right, I have created the before test, after test and a test methods. So in the before test, if you go back to this extent report and where there is some configurations that we can do as part of this spark report. So I will copy these two lines from here. This is the spark.config.theme and, and document title. So we'll copy those two and 
this is a spark reference so the extent spark reference so using that we can implement the configuration method under that you have a set theme method so set theme method will accept the theme color that is dark or light so it will by default open in a different uh, theme so i wanted to set that theme as a dark theme so let me import this theme as well and now the spark dot config dot set document title and this will set my document title as my report and after that if you go back to the extent configurations part in the first snippet where it is saying that extent dot attach report dot spark so i will copy this and go back to my before test so now this is using the extent report object so using that it is attaching a report called spark so this is a spark report and in case if you are using a different reports like we have a klov report we have a extent report so if you go back here you can see here we have this four reports here avant email klov and spark so you can add those here using a comma separated you can add all the reports in this section so i am now discussing about the spark report only so i will keep the spark report for now and then after in the before test i am going to use a web driver so web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup so this is a very handy api where you can implement this web driver api manager into your project where you don't need to always make a compatibility exe file and uh, to your browser so sometimes your browser may be updated but your exe file is in the lower version that creates some issue so if you use this web driver manager it will be easier to uh, manage all this exe files where it will always get the latest exe file from the api now after that using a driver reference so driver equal to new chrome driver so i am invoking my chrome driver here so chrome driver so this will invoke my chrome, chrome driver after that i will set driver dot get so i need to get a url get under this i will set url as So this is my url and in the after test what i need to do after executing my test case i need to close my driver so driver reference so to quit the driver we have driver dot quit so this will close my all the windows and the browser and now using this extent report so you need to flush those report contents whatever you are logging as part of this report so for that you can use object of extent report not the object of spark report so you need to use a extent object and then you can use flush so this method will dump all the contents which are logged in this report to a spark report so these are the prerequisites that needed to start our project now in this condition in the test condition i wanted to validate my page title so to validate the page title i need to get the driver dot get title you can use this get title and this will get my title so i need to store this into any of my page so to do that i am going to use a string here string page title equal to so this will get my page title and it will store in the page title then after i am going to verify whether my page title is as per my requirement or not so to do that i am using if condition for now we'll use uh, more conditions in the next session like try catch block and all of them so this is a simple test case i want to demonstrate now so this is a if condition if page title dot equals you should use a equals to exactly verify what you are expecting if you are not uh, using this equals or contains whatever as partially matched uh, contents in that expected results so it will verify and it will say pass if you use this equal it will exactly verify what is expected so i will say google this is if case and now 
so now i need to log my reports so here if my condition is passed then i need to make the test cases pass if my condition is not passed then i need to make my condition uh, my logging as failed so now using this extender reports so you need to do all of them so in the test case starting so this is the important step here so here you can use this extend test so this is an extend test class available you can use this extend test class and you can use a reference called test equal to using the extend test object by using the extend report object you can create a test case right this is a test case i wanted to verify verify the page title so this is my test case i wanted to verify and who is coding this test case so i am coding this test case so i need to mention my name in this report so you can use this assign author and you can mention that who is writing this test case so after that so this is a part of which test case this is a part of functional test case or regression test case or smoke test case so you need to mention that so to do that what i am doing assign category so this category belongs to functional testing functional test cases so this is the category and then dot assign device so where i am going to execute this test case so i am using a windows machine so you can mention the windows machine so in case you are using a multi browser testing or cross browser testing so where you can specify which devices that you are testing this particular test case now this is the first and foremost thing that we need to capture here whenever you start any test case and after that using this extend test reference this is a test and using that test inside this test so in the initially it is logging or it is capturing the title of the page right you can mention that by saying test dot info this is the info with the string details so i am going to say that i am capturing the page title so this is the first step i am going to use in this report after that i am verifying the condition so you can also mention a step here that test info again captured page title as so what is the title that you have captured you can print that in the info log so page title you can mention here and end with semicolon now in the if condition i am going to verify the page title which is equal to google or not so once it is this condition is passed then i can say test dot pass with a string details saying that page title is verified and i can say title captured so once it it verified and it is passed then i can say title whichever title it is captured i want to pin print that title so to print that title i am using the same one uh, page title so if my test case is getting failed it if the condition if condition fail it will goes to the else part in the else part i will say test dot fail and this is string details i need to provide and page title is not verified so this is the thing i need to verify page title is not verified or i can say not matched with actual condition not matched with expected results so i can also append that title so like this you can add the test steps of your logging so you have a test case here this condition and in between you are doing a extend logging 
so let me quickly save this and now i will quickly execute this test case test ng test now it is started it's supposed to launch a browser is launched and it should open a website it has opened a website and it has verified it has closed now you can see it has verified test case one number of test cases are passed one now i will go back to my page or a project and i will refresh my project and in the target section in the earlier uh, session where we have empty this one i mean the target folder was empty now you can see it is a spark.html was created under it so once you open this it will go to the browser and you can see here in the first one it is details it is saying the tests so number of tests was one which is a verify page title and it is verified and you can see this is the steps that is being added here so first it says i am capturing the page title then after that captured page title as google and it says fail here the page title is not ma matched with the expected results which is a google so we have captured with the lower case where it is came as upper case and after that you can see in the tag section in the category it is a functional test cases it is saying that it is a functional test cases and this is also hyperlink if you press this link uh, it will again go to the details of this page and you have a device details so this is the author details whoever writing this test case that person will have this test cases logged here and you can see this matrix here so this matrix provides you the information of this is a test if the test case is getting passed then it will show the green color if it is getting failed it will show in the red color and this is a log event so we have info logs and the, the failed logs and in this page you also see started and ended details when it started when it ended so those information also captured here and you can see passed test case count failed test case count as so and you can see here timeline details so these are details of timeline and you can also see the author devices and tags that i have provided in this extent logging you can see the author details who is writing the author so there is a one failed test case against this author and the devices where it executed it is executed on the windows and it says one test case failed and we have a tax here the functional test case right it has uh, so one test failure and because of that this percentage is zero zero here and if you see this uh, report says in the console it says everything passed but in the report it came as a fail because we have handled everything in the if else condition so we are saying that if it is matched then it should go to the google and it if it is not uh, passed then it should go to the else part so this is how we maintain this conditions and we log into the extent report so this is the real time scenario i have covered in this session so in the next session i will be covering the capturing the screenshot and appending to the extent spark report and i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions queries do comment in the comment section and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague thank you for watching